The dark shadow is cast upon my face, that not in lesser worlds or in less of this, of this disgrace. The disgrace of this world of people walking into schools and lining up and lining the people up and knocking them down. What is going on? 26 students, the universal number of 6226. The day of the year, I can't recall, we're near 350. Of course, we're 16 days away, exactly the 350th day. On the 353rd day, it becomes the same day as 9-11, the 254th day. The numbers are the same, although they seem different to most, not to me. Not the way I see it, because of me and what I see and what I feel and what I think. Because this is my video and my show and what I want to transmit to the people of this world. Aren't we ashamed of not holding the door up for somebody that's next to us or behind us? Do we have to be kind and lose the realm of reality of the excitement of life? Do we have to stay home and lose the realm of reality of this? Can we say the sanctity of life? What is the sanctity of life? I don't even know what the word says. I only brought it up because George Carlin has said it. Why am I here tonight? I'm going to read you a little paragraph off of something I took off the internet a couple of years ago. The Urantia book, part two. The local universe, paper 47. If nobody knows what that is, reverse that. That's the number of Christ. Like I've said before, something is real screwed up. 15 million Jews in the world, and we seem to be turning everything upside down. I don't think so. I really don't think so. War in Israel against somebody who's, who's, who's trying to create something from a bomb. Obama. Oh, no, that's not what I'm talking about. Let me just read you this little transcript, okay? On the mansion worlds, the resurrected mortal survivors resume their lives just where they left off when taken over by death. When you go from one Urantia world to the first mansion world, you will notice a considerable change. But if you had come from a normal and progressive sphere of, sphere of time, you would hardly notice the difference, except for the fact that you were in possession of a different body, the tabernacle of flesh, the body that is left behind in the world of nativity. The very center of all activities of the first mansion world is the resurrection hall, the enormous temper of personality assembly. The gigantic structure consists of the central rendezvous of the sephiric destiny guardians, the thought adjusters, and the angels of the resurrection. The light carriers also function with this, these celestial beings in the resurrection of the dead. You see, this is the way we read it, and this is the way we understand it. The way everybody understands it. But what Urantia world? Where are we actually going? Why don't we die and come somewhere else? Well, you know what? We all have to have the chance, okay, before and after coming and going from life, to understand what life was all about. Maybe we weren't nice for many reasons that we had conflict within us and we didn't understand what being nice was. We thought we were nice, but we weren't nice at all. We opened that door, but life was boring because everybody's now opening doors and closing doors. Well, you know what? When I'm driving down the street and I come to a red light, I ain't going to stop. When you stop, who are you saving? Are you saving somebody else or are you saving your own life? Do you work with the world, or do you work against the world? Don't tell me about religion. Any religion, I don't want to hear it. And it's not the fault of anybody else other than the thoughts of us not thinking. Yes, us. Let us start with me. For I didn't think. For I didn't do it right. For I wasn't right in my mind. Now, the change has come upon me, and the question still stands out. Am I doing it right in my mind? For me and I? If I'm doing it right for me and I, is it good enough for everybody else? Or is that none of my business? Should I just mind my business and open the door and not care about anybody else? Well, when you start to care and you're aware, 
is when you start to understand. Death, we're all scared of death. We don't want to go to it. The heart stops, we die. But if you really look at it as we're just an energy inside these bodies until we run out of gas, and then poof, the spirit is no longer here. It awakens wherever it was. It goes back into a body that it needs for whatever else it's going to live. Spirit and soul. Nyana and nyana and nyana. Why am I saying these words? Because they attach. N and N. The two crosses. When you connect the two crosses, you create the eight. You are the center of the cross. You become the ninth, which is the birth and the totality of who you are. Nine and never more. Three by three of three parts of the world of spirit, of soul, and the center director to everything. And then add yourself and this world, and you become a lot more than nine. By the time you reach the higher of numbers, you become number 15, which stands for the, which stands for the egg, which also stands for A and E, arts and entertainment, the first and the fifth letter. And the first and the fifth letter, putting the two together, numbers, you end up with number 15, which is the letter O, A, E, and O. The minute you say O, oh, I owe no one, but it stands for the owl. I don't know if you ever saw the Kushtar owl. One eye goes around in a circle, while the other eye is standing straight out. So while you're seen with two eyes, one eye is actually going into your head and telling you what you see. What you see is what you get, is only what you understand. What you let yourself have. Who am I to come on here as Mr. Tackpans and fool around and tell you all kinds of jokes and try to, hey, wait a second. I think God has just showed up. What are you saying? We're going to see if we can get a little spark out of this. A coconut with milk. It's survival. My mind with the coconut milk and a mind that's a complete nut divided between the two sides of thought. One side we call the spirit. Let's call it left. Well, it didn't leave at all unless you're not directing it to stay. Let's call the other side soul. Four and six. Why four and six? Because you get the two for the earth, for being here. We get an extra two points. Thirteen plus two. Why? Because we have 15 balls in pool, but there are 16 balls in pool. What about the white ball? Do you know that every single ball in pool has a white spot on it? The dice that we throw, whether it's in the casino with the white dots, or back at home with the black dots and the white dice. Now, pending which game you're going to play, you're going to pick up a different kind of dice, and it's going to tell you a little bit more of who you are. But who am I to say what it can tell you at all? Who am I? Who am I? Because I want to think that I can do right and do good, like Dudley do right. Who says my right is good and is going to help anybody? Who says the spirit is anything at all and exists other than a word? A 10-year-old kid goes to school, you tell him spirit, he goes, what? Where's the ghost? Because we don't understand it, we vision it another way. How we are brought up are the visions we entwine within us, the parents we have. We are split. God sends down the light, the matrix of the system picks up the light, and it divides. One body here, one body here. One body more of spirit, the other body more of soul. The light is split between the two. You connect it to the upper energy. I call it Jupiter, the big pit. And we go on living. How does it work? It simply works like this. You are nothing without the both sides of the wrap of the baseball. And if you notice, it's a C. This baseball was once flat on a table. They cut it out. Whatever they cut it out, they use the other side to create the other side of the ball. Now, why am I bringing up any of this? Because I want to. 
I'm trying to teach myself and to learn. So when people go and watch my video by the year 2018 when I should have at least 100 hits, and I'm making fun of this, at the same time it's true. Because most people don't want to go out and watch a nobody. Especially when you have 45 minute videos talking about 100 different things, nobody's ready for that. When you want to go out and watch Mr. Tacman's, either you watch all the videos and try to learn, but who am I again? How can I teach? How can anybody want to come on and learn from me? Then who again? Who am I to be a teacher? How can I bring myself in here and say, I'm a teacher? Of what kind of teacher am I? I only can teach you what I think I know, what who I am, and what I feel I'm trying to represent into this world. What do I want to get rid of? Don't you find it crazy? You sign a contract in hockey and you go, whoa, I want a couple extra million, I'm not playing. But when you go to war, and the army man says, I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to get killed. I'm tired of this war. You know what they do to that army guy? They put him in jail. And if that army guy starts to spread the word about everybody stopping to be in the war, you know what they do with him? They take him out. <whistles> Goodbye. That's the way they do it in the army. They pressurize your mind to go in there. They're enemies. But there ain't no fucking enemies. The only two enemies that they are are A and B. The two guys at the top talking to each other and saying, fuck you. And the other guy saying, fuck you. We'll just send everybody in and we'll tackle the whole world. We'll take you all out. Why? Who are we in this world? Where are we living? What land do we live on? Whose earth is this? Who owns the satellites? Who owns the oceans? All of a sudden, you need a permit to go in the ocean, and there's 100,000 different laws to go into the ocean. You can't do this in the ocean, but who made up all these laws? I bet you you go to Africa, they ain't telling you, want to go in the ocean, go. But the minute you come to North America, you just can't go into the ocean like that. Well, they say it's control so the boats don't run into each other. Let them make you think whatever it is. I don't believe anything anymore. But what I do believe, if I don't believe anything at all, then I must believe in something greater than what I've been seeing all my life. I'm 50 years old. And since the age I was able to think, and most people say, well, I'm schizophrenic, bipolar, I got a coconut mind, I got a baseball mind, I can't think, I'm off base, I'm probably on welfare, and I'm not working because I think this way. Well, if that's the way you think, only looking to put somebody down, taking them out from the realm they are, because you don't see it the same, so you got to knock them because you can't keep up. Another aspect in looking like what it is, is you can't keep up. Most people say, what? Keep up. This guy's down. He's not up. He's down. I want to tell you something. When they say, let's go into this space, do you think space is light and you float away? I think you get sucked away in space. I think you get pressurized in space. I think space is hot and cold, and whatever is not is in between, and then you're turning because you're caught between the two sides. There's always going to be two sides, pushing it this way, pushing it that way. By the time the two spirals come together, they spin, creating a gas, and then boom, and they move into a new space. Am I saying that Einstein knew about the Big Bang? Or maybe that was created for us. That way we'd buy more material. Ooh, you see, if we knew all the secrets of the world, we'd stop buying things if we knew all the truth. And because we want to know more truth, we're going out and spending money trying to learn from all kinds of different people. And I can't believe it. I just saw a wolf in the background. Do you see the wolf? See where my finger is? See the nose? The two eyes? The nose? And all that is is paint on my wall. And I keep coming back is, I don't want to be good. I don't want to be bad, and I don't want to be the best. I just want to be able to come in here and promote the goodness. Somebody behind me is going to say, well, you're not a nice guy. Well, you see, if you don't know me, you'll never know. And we all have our own ways of going about doing things. Oh, wait a second. God is trying to talk to me. Am I allowed to make jokes about God? No. And yes. Why can I make jokes about God? Because he knows the truth about me. 
He knows that I'm not really talking to God, but I am talking to God. Because if you're thinking about him, you're talking to him. There's something about this energy of God, and I keep thinking, all I keep thinking about are the Minnesota North Stars, the California Golden Seals, the Green Bay Packers, the Detroit Red Wings, uh, the Detroit Lions, and uh, the Minnesota Vikings. Did I say that already? Something about this area of Kansas City, Ohio, Indiana, is a very strong area inside Monopoly, inside the highway system of 70, 80, 94, these highway systems in numerology, in simple numerology. I'm going to switch things around. A hundred pennies makes a buck, but if you go to the buck, you're screwed. You never want to go to a buck, because she'll buck you off and throw you out. Ninety-nine pennies get you to ninety-nine cents. Fifth, Nineteen nickels get you to ninety-five cents. The one spirit of the nine, the ten god, the man on the moon. The nickel is everything. Five nickels make a quarter. What does that mean? It just means like this. Instead of me trying to explain to you how I see it, just remember. Whatever's out there is a reason. Do you know in change in North America, we have one quarter, one dime, one nickel, one penny. Totals 41 cents around Monopoly and you end up on Mediterranean or back on Go. It's always plus one, minus one because it's from where you start. We take away the penny, we have 40. And that's a complete square. That means if you start on Go and go around, you stop on Go and you get 400 or 400 years of bondage for, the, for Moses and the gang. Now, my thing going on to this into my 17th minute, and I'm jumping all over the place, but that's okay because that's me. So if nobody watches, that's also okay. One day somebody will watch, and I know and I guarantee it because, first of all, I'm hearing myself speak. I'm watching the camera, and I probably will re-watch a lot of my videos that I already do. Moses, who wrote his books? Who wrote after the Ten Commandments? Who wrote the add-on laws? Did somebody come back to Moses and grab what he wrote? They call it the 613 laws of Moses, and all I see is a six-point touchdown, a one-point convert, and a three-point field goal. The end zones are C's, standing for H or commanding the creation of all. Who wrote the Bible when Jesus wrote nothing? Jesus, Jesus and the Hebrew God, they have the same numbers. That's not possible. What is possible is the Christ is an existence of an energy. I call it the yellow banana from the sky, which is our sun. And if you take the reflection of our sun, look at the morning sun, and the late evening sun, the angle it comes on, you will always see a rim of red, or a red rim, or a red roof. There's a lot of things. The egg is a cock. The rooster is a cock. The green eggs and ham, always with green, always referring to Martians with green. Maybe we are the Martians, and all the stories are upside down. We definitely are the extraterrestrials. My last name is E.T.H., extraterrestrial heaven to rest who is what is the system like Krista wrote to me um, before on Facebook and um, I can't remember everything that was on there um, maybe I can try and go back and see what it is if I could and she writes to me when a frequency goes it goes the weakest to check the evolution at first, it was humans playing, but now aliens began to run the tests on us one last time for their accuracy, not the humans. Census, not by humans. Now, I'm not quite sure I understand what it all goes, and it might be uh, to a level where they have to know what level of existence we have achieved. They already know that. So that would say the system... The computer, the person hearing me on YouTube is a computer picking up my voice now knowing me and how I think because it can justify through everybody else that's been on this computer system for the last, what, 20 years, can I say? And it doesn't take all that long. And it's most, mostly just European, uh, Middle Eastern, 
and big cities that are really doing this because the animals in the jungle, they're not online. And then again, they're more online than you and me. They make one growl, the other animals run away. They don't have to go to war. They war to fight to eat, to kill to eat. We always say, oh, the sad animal has just died. But the animal comes to survive. He doesn't know his death. He knows the pain. He probably doesn't know the death. Path. Back in the sky. Hey, I was a tiger down on Earth. You had to see these human beings all running to the fucking city. Yeah, putting gasoline in their car. That shit stinks. And all of them, I tried to smoke one day, but I couldn't smoke at all. But I was smoking. Yeah, they smoked them cigarettes. But you know what? I don't smoke no cigarettes, the lion said to the tiger. He says, me, I just eat the marijuana leaves inside the forest, fresh into my body, and I'm already stoned. Instead of getting stoned into and out of the city, waiting in traffic to run to a big city, because when everything's closer together, it costs less. But when you drive your car and you're parking in your car, it costs more. So the reality of a big city meaning and having more meaning than anything is not more, it's less. It's when you don't have to travel that you, you're able to receive the extra time on your list and not in the list for driving your car and thinking. Because everybody says, yeah, I think and I drive to work. I can do that. I drove truck for 20 years or 30 years. And I'm telling you one thing. After you unload a load of pigs and you're tired, you go in the back of the truck and you go to sleep and you don't give a shit. And that's exactly what it is because that's how it stank for 30 years of my life. And I don't care. I like the pigs. I know no one's going to reach 22nd minute. Even if I hit 100 videos or 200 videos, there's maybe one that might reach the last minute of this video. And I make them too long. But sometimes... I just do this for the goodness of the interior of my own heart, for my own feelings inside of myself. I don't want to go by the wastelands and say he was the opera of the night. The fantasy of all men. Take after me, all men. Follow my footsteps because I know. What do I know? How can I know? I can be telling you all this and know nothing. Come watch Mr. Tackbands. Hit like in a race. We watch this guy. But I'm here as an energy of pressure. Like the water in your sink when you run into the shower and the pressure is good, you have a good heart. When the pressure is less, you have a good heart. But when you don't like what the pressure is, you're having a few problems adjusting to certain things in life. When I walk into my shower and I have no pressure, I won't rent the place. If I can't get good pressure out of my shower, then I'm not getting a good energy. I don't like it. What did I come on here to do? We're not going to be bored. I do all kinds of art. Oh, okay, you can do art. I do all kinds of writing. Oh, you can do writing. I do all kinds of research. Oh, you can do research. I can't do that. But I want to go bowling. Can't go bowling. I'm painting my floor. I want to go bowling. Five bucks a game? So we always have something to complain about. Five bucks a game? Well, now we're learning about the value of money. Who is actually checking us out? Is it the matrix? You see, the matrix inside us, you know what I call the matrix system? I call it ALA. I just had to find a place for Allah God. He had to be somewhere. And Allah never dies. When one energy of Allah goes down, another energy ignites and lights up. If you don't understand what this means, I'm sorry. I can't get really deep into this one. But yes, the Allah God exists. Jesus is inside and created by the Allah God. Jesus, they did not know his time or his day of birth. Who was he before he was born, his mother or his parents at all? The way I heard it is John was in the same stable. 
John died at 39, and there were three years difference to Christ. That means Christ died at 36. What story is true? You know what I think is true? I say it like this. The energy of Christ will live on forever. It's a number 33, command and create, which turns into being born in 3 BC. According to computers, Christ could not have been born before that. And his name was not Christ. His name was Yeshua. Things were changed in books over time. Evolution from one seed. When I was very young, 17, 16, I saw us walking out of the water. I saw us being alligators coming out of the water. Eggs laid on the land like little turtles. And we got up, and over time, we became who we were. Through evolution? Or is it the evolution that was created through the system so that we should learn that we came through that pattern just so we could understand the creation of life from the beginning? But did we come from there? At the very beginning, I don't know. But yes, we did come through there. Our minds passed through the element of understanding evolution was part of creation. So whether it's an absolute truth to the absolute creation, it's irrelevant. It's the understanding what went through our mind is the relevance to all and to all existence. And understanding is how you think and the goodness in your heart. If you don't think there's anything after and you don't want to be good, well, that's up to you. But in this world, when you're not good, you pay for it at the end. And even for the smallest thing, I got a ticket for taking a whiz beside my truck that brought, got brought to jail. I got a ticket for sitting on a park bench. Sitting on a park bench. Bah, bah, bah. In fact, my whole life, when I turn on rock and roll stations, it seemed like they wrote about my whole life because I've got one of everything. No matter what I did, I seemed to fall always on my back. But it wouldn't matter because I got up again and I got something I loved. My dirty hands and my broken fingers. Everybody knows about my hands. See what happens when I bring the light? Why does it do that? One hand. Paint. I was running up a set of stairs, but the stairs were made for a bunch of pigs. I'm not talking pigs of people. I'm talking the animal pigs. Pigs are only three feet tall at the most. So they go running up, and I started running up after them. I didn't know the place that they built was dark, and I started running up, and I ran right into a wall that was this high, right into my nose, and I flattened my nose right here. There's a split in it. It's flat. I can balance something on my nose, just like a seal, the reminder of a seal, or the seal of life. The sanctity that I mentioned before, sanctity, sank, means fine. Titties are the pigs. The pigs of the creation of the bringing of up into life. Five is everything, because without five, You've got no over, and you've got no under. It's a nickel. In Canada, it's a beaver. And when I see a beaver, I go, damn us. Because beavers build dams. And beavers are women, and dames are women. So now they're comparing the dame, the beaver, and women together. Why? Because they are above and below. They have their own water tank. They create children in this world. They were given the hips. Oh, oh, it's going to be a woman. Let's give her the woman hips. Oh, it's going to be a guy. Let's give him a dick. What do you mean dick? Tom, Dick, and Harry? He didn't give me no dick. This coconut's bigger than my dick. Tom, Dick, and Harry. D-I-C. Four, nine, three. 49, 36, 36 by 3, 108, the top of the Twin Towers, add to 
in between the letters is space. D space, I space. C, 108 plus 2, 110, top of the Twin Towers. Anyways, I'm all over the place. So let's talk about the last thing I had written down, which is this. I have to do a comparison to be having sex in the morning time to having sex at night time and how my dreams are on that night. Because I'm definitely sure your eating and your sexual habits have something to do with how you dream and how you think. Um, another thing is, I'm going to repeat this, there is three Norths and there are three Souths, there is one East, there is one West. We live in a square that's missing one corner because of the diamond in the rough that was taken out and shoved into this game we play called the Monopoly game, which has four corners, but we're only living the life of a triangle with three. Seven days on each is 21 days. But all of a sudden, the moon just came out, saying 28 days. Where did the other seven days go? Now, by now, most have shut this down. Raphael, 7286, in the constellation of Pegasus, I bid you all a farewell and a good night. Look at this. Can you see this? You can't see this. No one can see this. This is my buddy. This is a pig. This is the Buddha pig. Is, uh, no, the Buddha is not a pig, but the Buddha element, the color of this pig, the color of Buddha, the same color as the 7 and 15 ball, 7 and 15 letters, G and O. It says, go in Monopoly, and this is all done. Raphael, 7286. This video was done for myself, for me, to watch, and everybody who comes on here to watch, this is only about games people play and the way I see things. It does not mean I know anything at all or anything at all, very little or anything at all. And that's all, right? I leave this video go to the star in the sky, and it's all up to you if you want to check it out. But that's okay. Don't worry about it, guys. Happy Holidays. If you want to say Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah on the last night. I spent the whole night near Mount Sinai today. I spent part of my day near the Jordan River. And yes, I was not in Israel. There's more than one Jordan and there's more than one Mount Sinai. So don't say, don't say close to anything yet.